Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is Kevin from Pure Main Electronics in Hangzhou, China. We are a CCTV manufacturer with 20 years history. Especially focused on matrix switcher and keyboard controller for wall solution. Today we are going to show you one of our IP keyboard, PE5128, which is very special of its decoding capacity. It can support 4 channels of Full HD and 16 channels of D1 decoding. Also support for image proofs, sample, splitting, and taking snapshot. Now let's take a close look at the devices. Now you're looking at the keyboard here. You can see the nice designed body and uh, comfortable weight, suitable size, and the keycaps feels really nice. And also the seven inch LCD screen looks pretty cool. And here's the joystick for camera control. You can zoom in, zoom out, and taking snapshot by pressing the, the bottom here. And on the back you can see USB port for connection with junction box and two audio ports for intercom. Now let's take a look at the junction box. Here is the USB for connection with keyboard and two HDMI output for connection with HD, HD monitor for video viewing and two RJ45 ports. One of them is net port for connection with switcher receiving signal from IP cameras via switcher. And the other one has two functions. One is for connection with alarm box if you got alarm requirement. And the other one is for program developing uh, with engineer. And here is the SD card slot. You can plug in your SD card for snapshot storage. And the last one is for power supply.
So in order to achieve the functions you have seen, we have to do some configuration on the, on the PC. Firstly, connect your PC to the switcher and uh, open your browser, input the IP address of the keyboard. This one is the default IP address of the keyboard and as default, the username is admin and password is 12345. Log in, you can see this is the web page of the system. And you can see there are eight tabs. The first one display for you to create windows to the monitors. And stream media for you to manage your stream media. And source for you to add IP cameras via different access. And switch for you to create a cruise, a salvo, a segmentation. And user for your management of the users and recording server for you to set up your recording function and system for you to do some system settings and screenshot for you to either choose SD card or FTP for snapshot storage. Okay, so let's begin with the display. You can see two tabs in the display and one is monitor and the other one is window. Firstly, monitor, we create. You can choose one rules and two columns, enter. And don't forget to click save and come to the window and click window to monitor. And don't forget to click save. Okay, let's move to the next step. We add IP cameras here in the source page, and you can see there are five tabs. View all cameras, OSD configure, protocol access, stream media access, RTSP direct access. For example, we choose protocol access and click search here. All the IP cameras support on beef protocol uh, that connected with the switcher will be searched out and then Click all identify. So now we have four cameras identified. These cameras can be controlled by our keyboard. And don't forget to click save. And besides, except adding cameras via protocol access, you can also add cameras through stream media access. And before that, you should come to the stream media and add your stream media here and click save and come back to the source and click stream media access and click here gain and after you have the stream media added in the system don't forget to click save let's move to the switch part let's start with the cruise a cruise means you can view the image of several cameras on one window uh, as a circle or as a loop. For example, you want to view camera number one, camera number two, and three. You can input one, two, three. Or if you want to view more, you can click here plus, for example, four, five, six, and you can see here is the cruise number. So one is the cruise number. And for example, if you want to view these cameras in window number one, you can use the keyboard and press one plus wing plus one and plus aux three. After that, you will see camera number one switching to camera number two and three and four and five and six on window number one, each 15 seconds as a circle. And now let's move to the salvo part. A salvo means you can create circle viewing for multi windows. Uh, you can see here one, two, three. This means the window numbers. 
this can be changed as you uh, as you want okay so now for example you want to view the camera number one camera number two number three for window number one and four five eight for window number two and seven eight nine for window number three and you can also add more steps for each window and then you can see here is the server number the server number is two and also please don't forget to click save here and after the configuration you can start the servo with the with the keyboard and on the keyboard you can directly press the servo number which is two and plus aux three and then you will see on window number one the camera number one will switch to camera number two and three and on window number two there will be camera number four switching to camera number number five to six and on window number three you will see the camera number seven switching to eight and nine each 15 seconds Okay, now let's move to the segmentation part, which is pretty cool. It's segmentation, which means you can create a circle viewing in a splitted monitor. The monitor can be splitted into 4, 9, 16 windows, and each window will display the image of whichever camera numbers you want. And the segmentation and uh, uh, circle viewing will be begin at the same time after you start the segmentation by keyboard. For example, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can see here is the segmentation number and here is the monitor number. You can either choose monitor number one or monitor number two, whichever you want. And uh, you can now start the segmentation by the keyboard by uh, pressing the segmentation number three plus aux three and you will see okay then you will see uh, on the monitor number one there are four splitted windows at the first step uh, which is the first 15 seconds you will see the four windows displays uh, the image of camera number one two three four and after 15 seconds they will display the image of camera number five, six, seven, eight, and after 15 seconds, nine, 10, 11, 12, as a circle. And please note, the switching time can always be customized. And uh, after every step you take, Please don't forget to click save here. Well, so this keyboard can be well applied to those big IP CCTV projects which require a large quantity of cameras and a control center, such as a public security system, a building security system, a harbor CCTV system, or other places like a supermarket, airport, prison, or casinos. If you want to know more about this keyboard or our company, down below here is our contact info and website. Your inquiry will be replied within 12 hours. Thanks for watching. See ya.